Elevation is what we'll be taking a look at now. With elevation, this gives us an elevated view of the walls. If you come up here and click on the elevation button, it's going to give you a message to select the desired wall first. So to select your desired wall, just come and click on the wall. It gives us all the little handles and the little blue buttons and everything back there. Then we can come up and click back on elevation. Splits our screen for us. Puts our wall up in elevation. To add an additional wall, simply click on the wall, click on the elevation button, it adds it in as tab, tab number two, L2 for elevation, elevation two. If you close your elevation window and you want to come back in and view your elevation again after you've made changes, let's, uh, let's make a change here. Let's take the crown molding off, that little guy. So I made a change. I'm going to take the whole cabinet out so it's an obvious change. I've made a change and I want to view that change in elevation now. So just simply come back up and click on elevation. You may have to change your tab to get to the right window. But here's the elevation. I've removed that wall cabinet. Now the cool thing with, with uh, elevation is you can place cabinets right directly into your elevation. So I want to put that cabinet back. Come up, grab it just like normal drop it back out here on the plan and there my cabinet is back in place if I want to add an additional elevation to this again just click on the wall there's your new elevation if you're done and or you've got duplicates because that happens all the time you get duplicate elevations if you need to clean up this window you can right click and delete tab or you can edit the view if you want to edit the view we could name this, instead of L3, Wall 3. Now my tab up here says Wall 3. When you're all done with these, you can just delete tab and they go away. So that is elevation. Again, you can place items in elevation. You can move items around in elevation. Uh, handy for up down. So a lot of your editing you can do in elevation. And it just it's a whole lot easier sometimes to be able to see it in front of you. Whoops. And it's a wild man when you move sometimes if you're not watching what you're doing. But it's handy to be able to see it in front of you and what it actually looks like in, in real life.